Welcome to the EV show. We've got another project for you today. Actually, not this car. No. We're going to go out of our box, out of our comfort zone. We picked up a 2010 International E Star. This is a uh, commercial vehicle, not usually what we do. They were made in the United States, we made about 100 of them. And International Harvester actually picked up the assets from a company called Modec that's been making these in England since 2006. I think uh, back in the recession, they got a little hurt financially and they went into insolvency in 2010. Uh, International Harvester picked up the assets from Modec and built 100, 101 of these for the Department of Energy in 2010. Ours here has been doing service with Coca-Cola, uh, only did about 6,000 miles and uh, they decided to retire it. So we picked it up. It's uh, It's got definitely some areas of improvement being designed back, uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago. So we're gonna, um, Take you guys along with us. We're gonna start this project, do something a little bit outside of our comfort zone and do a commercial job. And uh, let's check it out, we get into some details. So one of the things you might notice about the E-Star is up front, there was no cab doors. And it turns out there's a very European design. And uh, the only access door to the cab is the slider. And since they make rolling platforms, you'll see these Modec trucks you know, anything from a dump truck, box van, and they'll actually set it back so you have access here to get in. With this particular box configuration, we have a locking slider over here. So the locking slider is basically how the driver and the passenger get access to the cab. So it's very, very unique, very interesting design. And the other thing is, it's, it's got nice height in it, you know, for, uh, we're talking of maybe doing an adventure van, maybe doing kind of like a sprinter van conversion. We still actually don't know what we're gonna do with this. Um, but I'm six foot one and I can walk easily into the cab. I don't even really have to duck my head. I can, you know, walk the whole length of this thing. So it would make a really, really good platform for like a van camper. And so we're kind of looking at that. And again, the Route Del Sol guys have done that. Check them out. They got a great channel and you can follow their journey right now. And uh, real interesting, 106 inches tall on the outside, about 24 feet long. I think it's got a normal width. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Um, we're at about a 7,000 pound vehicle and it's rated to carry 5,000 pounds of capacity. So uh, we have quite a bit of carrying capacity. And on top of all that, I think we'll gain a little because I'm told that the battery in this weighs about 2,000 pounds and I think we can bring that weight down significantly. So I can't wait to get the battery out. Uh, one of the next things we'll do for you guys is we'll pull the battery and we'll actually put it on scales, give it a weight. All right, so here we are in the modern cab of this thing. People really love these. Everybody who sat in the front of this just absolutely loves it. And, uh, we got the, there's uh, another guy on the internet, a guy by the name of uh, Joel, who's doing Route Del Sol, and he's actually converted one of these to solar power, and he's going from Alaska all the way down to Argentina. Uh, good luck, guys, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, great dude, sends me an email the other day, I'm sorry to hear that you got an E-Star. <laughs> the online reputation of this vehicle is so far from stellar, it's not even funny. I literally was Googling it, finding forums that people were saying, you know, run, don't walk away from it. And apparently there's a bunch of different manufacturers that are involved in the electric drive train system and they're very disjointed systems. And uh, what we wanna do is kind of remove all that, keep the core components and then use a VCU to tie everything together and standardize it. So just real quickly, we're gonna go into the specs. The, the truck has a 70 kilowatt motor and a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, the efficiency hovers around 700 to 750 watt hours per mile. So with the pack they have, they have a rated range of about 100 miles, although it's, I'm sure it's deteriorated by now. It's a 10 year old battery. Uh, we're right now, based on our measurements, gonna do either two Model 3 packs in here or two Model S packs. So it's gonna give us anywhere from 160 to 200 kilowatt hours of capacity. And we're really trying to do the 200 kilowatt hour because in this, that would make it close to about a 300 mile range vehicle. So we're pretty excited about this. We just wanted to give you a quick walk through. We'll show you some b-roll shots of the rest of the, the van and just kind of show it, the, it in the state of which we got it. And uh, we're just gonna follow this along with the rest of the EV show projects and uh, see if we can get this thing running. All right, so we pulled up the access panel there and this is the business end. But what I find really fascinating is they transverse mounted the motor and then they actually go into a reduction box over here and then another reduction box before they go into uh, the differential. It's an offset differential and a solid axle, which is also pretty interesting. 
um, but pretty straightforward, very clean. Um, there's a little bit of dust on here, but everything is, uh, you know, like 6,000 miles is all this has on it. So we're going to go through, clean all this up, uh, see if we can get in the drive controller. And uh, I think the goal is to keep this engineering uh, as it sits. And right over there is the battery pack. And we're going to drop that out the bottom. This has a similar architecture to the Tesla where the whole pack just drops right out the bottom of the car. Um, and it's all smooth and on the bottom. So we're going to drop the pack and uh, get into that and then just kind of continue the progress. So I think that's about it for our uh, little inspection. We, we, like I said, we just received this a couple days ago. Just wanted to get um, some video taken before we take the whole thing apart and it doesn't resemble what it is. We, we kind of kicked around the idea of maybe taking the whole box off it too. So um, there you go. The International Navistar E-Star project.